Now that we've seen the Excel version and the Desmos version of playing with the rate of change as the time span gets smaller and smaller, let's talk about a big new vocabulary definition called the derivative of f at time 5, f is a function. That's the instantaneous rate of change of f at time 5. Um, so we're emphasizing the at here, not just near, like not just from x to x, from 5 to 6 or 5 to 5.1. Uh, we want to talk about at time 5 as precisely one point in time. So that's the derivative. We write it with an apostrophe after the f, like that. So that apostrophe, um, now apostrophe is a big long word that's hard to remember how to spell. Um, it's also called prime. Unfortunately, it's entirely unrelated to prime numbers. But you would read this out loud as f prime of 5 or f prime at 5. And we've doc talked about um, like y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And we want to do that as x2 minus x1 gets smaller and smaller, goes to 0. Another term for x2 minus x1 is delta x. And another term for delta x is h. I'm not sure who invented uh, the idea of calling it h but h is at least easier to write than delta x. So we could write this, um, the y2 minus y1, we could write as f of x2 minus f of x1 over x2 minus x1. And we want that as delta x or um, whatever, uh, or h goes to zero, and we, We'll use this term from uh, chapter one called limit. We want the limit of this, the behavior of it, as delta x is going to zero, but it doesn't exactly equal zero. Um, and then we can rewrite x2 as x1 plus h, because h is the difference between the two. So altogether, we can write this as the limit as h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x over h. Um, we've been saying at time 5 here actually, so we'll erase this x. Put a 5 there, you could really put any number you want, but if we're saying f prime of 5, then we better have a 5 there. Okay, so f prime of 5 is the limit as h goes to 0 of f of 5 plus h minus f of 5 over h. Let's specialize that to this particular function we've been using, f of x equals x cubed. So we're going to write f prime at 5. Now using the idea of x cubed is the limit as h goes to 0. And while well, the dividing by h doesn't really change, the uh, what is f of 5? It's 5 cubed, because I'm using x cubed. And then the question is, what's going to go here? And this is something that's hard to get right. Let me offer a few ideas. Is it 5 cubed plus h? Is it 5 plus h cubed? Is it 5 cubed plus h cubed? Or is it 5 plus h cubed? So take a sec to think about that. Pause the video if you need to. Okay, welcome back from pause. Well, f of x is x cubed. That says whatever you give it f, it cubes it and gives it back to you. So if you give it 5 plus h, it will take 5 plus h and cube it, which is this one, but not these others. Nope, 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 yep. So we get 5 plus h cubed. Um, what if I just plug in h equals 0? If I want uh, really small h's, well, 0 is about the smallest you can get. Think for a sec, what do you get there? You'd get 5 plus 0 cubed minus 5 cubed over 0, which ends up being 0 over 0. 
which actually doesn't tell us anything. So we, in uh, Excel and in Desmos, we tried plugging in smaller and smaller h's. We're about to try that for um, uh, using algebra. So going to do a lot of simplification on this. So this is a good time to uh, stop the video and we'll switch to a new one and write out all the algebra here, but try writing it out for yourself first.